In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the measure tool in order to measure bodies. So this is replacing the retired measure body command that is no longer available. So if I come up here into my command finder and I type in measure body and hit my enter key, you can see measure body does not show up in here any longer. You can see it's referencing measure because this is the command you can now use to measure bodies with. So I'm going to go ahead and show where this is located at. And it's located in a couple locations inside the software. Uh, you can go ahead and type in measure up here, measure body, hit your enter key on the command finder. Command finder is going to open up and there's your measure tool right there. But there's some other areas where we can locate the measure tool. So if you go to the analysis tab, and over on the left-hand side of the measure category, you'll see the measure tools located there. Uh, you can also add that to your top border bar here. If you go over to the right-hand side, hit the ribbon options, go down to the utilities group. Make sure you turn on your utilities group by left mouse button clicking on this option. And that's going to go ahead and add the measure tool. If you don't see the measure tool, make sure you go back into that dropdown. Put your cursor over the utilities group and you'll get a flyout menu and you'll see the measure option is available there. So make sure you have a check mark there. If there's no check mark, go ahead and left mouse button down on that to add the check mark and add that to the toolbar. So now that you have that utilities group added to your top border bar, you also have a second location where you can use the measure tool from. Uh, additionally, there's a third location. If I were to come over here and just click anywhere inside the screen, so if I left mouse button down here, the scene pop up will show up here and I can choose the measure tool from there as well. So you have three options here, analysis, measure group, there's your measure tool. Then on the top border bar, we added, uh, we turned on the uh, ribbon option to show the utilities group and we made sure the measure tool was turned on here. And then we also have the option to left mouse button down anywhere in the window and you get your pop up here and you can choose the measure tool from there as well. So I'll go ahead and choose the measure tool. Once you open up the new measure tool here, it's going to consolidate all of your different measurement functionalities inside this one tool. So if you wanna measure the body, all you have to do is make sure you have the object radio button selected here in the measure dialog. Now I can come over and I can put my cursor over the part that I wanna measure. You can see I've got the three boxes that have showed up for me now. I can go ahead and left mouse button down. Those three boxes will indicate the quick pick is currently active. So once I select the left mouse, mouse button down, I'm going to get my quick pick dialog that's going to show up for me here. I can quickly select the solid body of block one from here. And now you can see once I do that, it's going to bring up a measurement dialog of the item that I chose or selected in the uh, graphics display here to measure. In this case, it was the solid block, and I have all of the body measurements that are shown here in this list. So you can see I have surface area, volume, center of mass, mass, weight, density, so on and so forth, all these different categories here. Um, if you want to save this measurement of this body that we just created here, all you have to do is come down, make sure you have associative turned on here, so check the associative box, and then we can go ahead and select apply. Before I do that, I do want to show how you can actually go in here, and there's a couple other options. Uh, you can show a center of mass point. So on the flyout menu here, if you look here on this uh, pop-up for my measurement, on the right-hand side, there's a flyout menu. If you choose this flyout menu, you can see there's an option for center of mass. There's an option here to create geometry associative to the measure feature on OK or Apply. Now, this option is available and it is associative as long as you have this option turned on down here in the dialog box, associative. Make sure you have that checked. Once that's checked, you'll have the option to create geometry associated to this uh, type of measurement right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that. Now you can see it's got a blue background that, it, that indicates that this is going to be activated or turned on that feature. And it's gonna create geometry as soon as I hit okay or apply here. So once I hit okay, and let's go into a wireframe mode. So I'm gonna to go to the view category or tab, and I'm gonna change my style to, uh, we'll go to a static wireframe style here. Once I activate the static wireframe style, you can now see there is a center of gravity or a CG location symbol here. Uh, if I put my cursor over that, you can see that is the measure body too. If I go over to my part navigator, so let's go down to the part navigator tab, open that up. And you'll see indeed there was a measure body that was just created. 
So if you want to go back in and edit that, you can double click on that to edit the measure body. Uh, if you want to see details about this measure body, all you have to do is go down in your part navigator, move your cursor down to the details category here. Go ahead and left mouse button down on the arrow and expand that. And you can see all the details about that particular measurement feature. Like I said, if you want to go back and edit that, all you have to do is come up to your feature tree, your part navigator tree, double click on that feature, left mouse button twice. And now you're back into the measure tool and there's that measure feature. So that's how you can edit that if you need to edit that after the fact. Okay, so hopefully that helps to uh, show you the measure tool and how that is replacing the measure body, the old measure body functionality in the software. Thank you.